Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over the article importing features that we have in the FCS Networker web tool. Um, you'll notice up here we've got four options. Um, the first being import bulk articles. We went over that in the previous video, so I'm not going to go over that one again. But we've added three new features. Import bulk articles via RSS, import via article builder, and scrape article directories. So let's start with the import bulk articles via RSS. Now there's uh, a few ways to use this. Basically what this does is it's going to grab uh, articles from RSS feeds depending on your keyword or you could just grab all articles from the RSS feed. And it grabs the full article not just the snippet that most RSS feeds give you. So you have two options. You could use your own feeds or you could use our list of built-in feeds. Uh, we're constantly adding to this list, uh, trying to find um, feeds that will give uh, some good articles in pretty much any niche, uh, but we're working on building that up as best we can. But if you want to use your own feeds, you would just paste a list of feeds in like that, and it would just be one per line, as you can see. Then you could choose how to scrape. You could scrape, grab all the feed articles. So what that would do is grab all the articles from each one of these RSS feeds, which you probably would not want to do. Or you could search by keyword. So um, if you wanted to search by keyword, let's use our built-in feeds because I just pasted these. I don't know what these are. So if we're going to search by keyword, uh, let's search... Uh, Basketball and um, hockey. Okay. And now the article links, you can decide whether you want to keep the links from the articles or remove the links. We'll decide to remove those links and then we're going to create a new set, an article set, and this is where these articles will get imported. So I'll just click import. And then you'll notice it'll tell us that our request is in progress. If you go to your article sets, you'll notice that this set is processing. Once you don't see that processing anymore, that means the articles have all been imported. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. You could use whatever RSS feed you want and just search articles and grab a bunch of different articles. You could put lists of you know 200 RSS feeds in there and just grab some relevant articles and uh, pop them right into an article set and create your project. So it's a very cool feature. You also have import via article builder. Um, you, when you, before you use this, you need to put your article builder details in, in your user info area. So you just click on that and then it'll have a space where you could add your article builder API details. And then you just, uh, anybody's use article builder, you just choose your topic, you could put in subtopic keywords, how long you want the article to be, how many articles do you want, and same thing, you could import, you could create a new article set, etc. So that's pretty self explanatory. And then the last one is the scrape article directories. Now, right now we only have three directories, but we're going to uh, build this out. We're hoping to have about 10 article directories um, in the next month or so. So you just enter your keywords, uh, dog training, uh, hockey, baseball, or whatever you want. Select which directories you want. Uh, how many articles? So let's say we wanted five articles. And what this is going to do, it's going to grab five dog training articles from each directory, five hockey articles from each directory, and five baseball articles from each directory. And then you could choose whether you wanted to import it directly into an article set, or not, same way with the RSS feed. I'm not going to do that right now. But uh, so it's pretty self explanatory. And once again, we're going to add a lot of more directories to this. But this is uh, to give you enough to get started. So these are just easy ways to get some, uh, some content. The way I like to use these is uh, I like to use this as syndicated content. Personally, I don't spin um, the RSS articles or the scraped article directory articles. I just usually add a blurb. Um, to it during the project makes it look like nice curated content and can really add some high quality value and relevant content to your pages. And Google has been loving curated content for a long time. So for those of you who are sick of spinning all the time, I definitely suggest 
uh, import some some good articles and then um, and then just maybe uh, setting a project out using a blurb that uh, maybe a highly spun blurb or something that that makes um, it look like you're commenting on each one of these articles individually and then you have uh, nice curated content and uh, really fills out your web properties nicely. And uh, that's about it. Right now we are constantly adding more features so I'll update the video as we do.